I'm Jaden. And I'm Sabrina. And I'm Madeline. And we're, we're Team Psych. For our psychology project, we decided to do it on selective attention. What is that? Well, selective attention is the process of reacting to selected stimuli while ignoring other stimuli. For an example, cocktail party effect. So you can be sitting here talking to somebody in a really deep conversation. There's music, there's people dancing, there's alcohol, or whatever is going on, right? And this person over here says, my name. Your brain has the ability to automatically tune into this conversation just because it thinks it's important. So our brains have the ability to process out information and take in information just because you think it's important. Is that not For our psychology project, we would use MUD's students to fill out a questionnaire. They had four questions, and they would have to rate themselves on a scale of one to five, one being not at all, three being average, and five being very. They would also put on there their age and their gender. Once this was done, we would have them watch a video or answer a question. So while they were doing that, a girl was leaving the room. Once she left, we asked them if they had noticed or paid attention to what she was wearing. The whole purpose of this project was to see if while they were distracting themselves with the task at hand, did their selective attention blind them from seeing and noticing what the girl was wearing in the chair. Our hypothesis was that they would be blinded. They wouldn't know what she was wearing and they came back in. But what actually happened is they noticed it without even knowing they noticed it. We got remarks like, I didn't know she was there and I didn't know she left. But they were still able to write down what she was wearing. Is that not not? I know what the missing letter is. Yep. As soon as it's, you got them all, raise your hand because you're getting the candy. Uh-oh. Right? John. John's yeah. first. <laughs> List them all. Yeah. So actually, that was a trick question. We didn't really need you to do the alphabet, but we need your attention. You do get candy. Candy throw. <laughs> so the real question is, our friend Sabrina was sitting right here. What was Sabrina wearing? Oh, did you hear that, guys? What did she look like? What was her shoes? What were her pants? What did her so the person like? who left the room, Sabrina, oh, the she was just right there. Mm -hmm. Right here. Yeah. She was yeah, just there and just walked out. She just walked So up. what did Sabrina <laughs> Write down to your best guess. Oh. The purpose of this wasn't really so you can get that the fastest. It's about selective attention and see what you wear and measure around your surroundings. So did you guys see what the girl sitting in that chair was wearing, what she looked like, how she was dressed, her appearances? So write that down on your piece of paper and we'll see how close you are. Overall in our experiments with men and women in MUDS classes, 71% were correct and 29% were incorrect. We broke this pie chart down into a bar graph. 56.9% were correct of men, and 43.1% were incorrect. They rated themselves a 14.97 out of 20 on how observant they were. The women were 82.7% correct, 17.3% incorrect, and rated themselves a 14.88 out of 20 on how observant they were. Is that not nuts? So these were the limiting factors for our experiment. First of all, we had a pretty small sample size since we only did our experiment on MUDS classes here at VCC. Second of all, subjects were probably warned that we were doing an experiment on MUDS classes since people like to talk in between class. Um, another factor was the time of the classes, AM versus PM. Some people are naturally more aware during the morning or during the afternoon. Um, also, there was the class size. Sometimes the classes were pretty full and sometimes the room was nearly empty and this can affect how aware you can be of your surroundings. Um, the subject's interest in the experiment. Some people could have been really into it and really focused on what we wanted them to be and some people were probably checking their phones or taking a nap. And also there are more men at BCC than women so our statistics are probably slightly skewed. Research, we found some other common experiments for selective attention, the first of which was the gorilla experiment, which we briefly covered in class. In the experiment, participants are asked to watch the video of some friends playing catch and to count the number of times the ball is passed between the friends. You're so focused on counting the number of times the ball is passed.
past that you don't even notice a huge gorilla walking through the screen. Selective attention deems this detail as not important, so you can keep counting the number of times the ball is passed. Another experiment was one done by Colin Cherry in 1953. In his experiment, he placed headphones on his participants and asked them to pay attention to what was being played in their right ear, which was different from what was being played in the left ear. Participants were able to easily focus on what was being played in the right ear, usually a simple phrase, something like the cow says moo. They were able to repeat this later when asked. However, they were not able to repeat at all what was being played in the left ear, and in fact, were not even confident that it was in the same language. Is that not no?